<laughs> La Milagrosa Trail is a 4.4 mile trail, but in order to get to it, you're going to need to climb about three and a half miles on the Arizona Trail. At the beginning of the climb, you're going to want to start the heavy smack talking while not getting too far out of breath because you're going to have some major crux features coming up soon. As the rocks begin early, energy levels start to get sapped quickly. Big thanks to Bobby for the moral support, the encouragement, and the smack talking. The crux features start right away. So are there more sections like this? Keep at least 37 to 47 watts flowing from those legs of yours on every pedal stroke if you're gonna wanna make it up La Milagrosa. The rocks on this trail have plenty of traction. They make crux features like this first major, major crux feature a little bit easier. If you're not a two-time world trials champion, remember, hopping is your friend. Lots of hops are okay. Keep the power going down, get as sweaty as you can, you will make it. But remember, if you put your foot down, you've got to go back to the bottom and try again. This section here is a great spot to imitate a two-striped grasshopper. If you can't quite make it, just keep hopping. More and more. More hops, more better. Big thanks to Bobby for holding the camera. Bonus points for including a few of the hairs from the windscreen on the microphone at the top of the frame and for capturing his own shadow at the bottom of the frame. The final climb feature is kind of like a stair set for a bike. You're going to be seeing cross-eyed, you'll be super thirsty, and you're really going to be distracted by thinking about your edit that mimics Jeff Lenoski's Trail Boss edit. So keep that focus as dialed as you can. Many hops will only help. Out this one. Once you've cleaned this last stair step, keep focused until you get to the cattle grate. And that's where you can start thinking about your edit that mimics Lenoski's Trail Boss edit. The cattle grate. How you feeling? Feeling good, man. I'm on Millie. It's always a good day. Once you've made it here, it's primarily downhill to La Milagrosa. The trail is pretty rough and rugged, and it's kind of no joke. It's super fun, definitely pretty quick, and the views are rad. You're gonna wanna grip it, rip it, and definitely enjoy your time on this well-earned descent. Dude, I got caddy wampus right there. Even though it's primarily downhill to La Milagrosa, it's, there's still some substantial uphill and be sure to keep your bike working in good mechanical order because a problem out here is gonna mean a long hike out. As much fun as this section of trail is, keep your wits about you because you do not want to go blazing past the entrance to La Milagrosa trail. You pretty sure? Oh, Trail Fork says this is it. Yep. You think it's it? It's it. It's all downhill from here? It sure isn't. The first feature you're going to come up to is the waterfall, which is pretty okay. washed out and definitely dry. Now, I'm more washed up than anything else with a pretty dry oh, sense wow, of humor, but I was cool. stoked to try this line out. Nice. You're gonna to wanna to carry a pair of pliers because there are many cactuses in this neck of the woods and one of those spines can send you to the hospital. The final climb
climb of La Mila Grossa is by far the most difficult. You're gonna to wanna to stay focused here, and if you are not a Trials champ, which I'm definitely a champ of nothing, then remember, hopping is your friend. Don't be afraid to keep that red striped grasshopper imitation going strong. And there's lots of things here that can snag a wheel, send you over the handlebars, anything like that. Give it some power, try real hard, focus, don't think about your edit that mimics Lenoski's Trail Boss edit, and hopefully your friend who's holding the camera can actually keep up with you as you find out you're making more of the climb than you thought you were gonna make. I think you did. First try Friday. If you're not blown out from hopping on things, you're gonna have to hop off your bike and walk down this rocky section that's surprisingly steep. And then when you yes. get to see more and more oh, cactuses, terrible. you're at the end of the trail. Yeah. Thanks to Jeff Lenoski for the inspiration to come out here and throw ourselves at Milagrosa trying to clean it. We got it. Trail intern, that's a wrap. <laughs> That was super fun. If you guys like this video and think I deserve a promotion to Trail Assistant Manager, then click my subscribe button below. Also, I've got a link below to Jeff Lenoski's YouTube channel. You can subscribe to him. I definitely recommend it. Jeff's a good dude. He's a friend of mine. And I'm really pumped on the videos he's putting out. Thank you guys for watching. And this is all in good fun. I'll see you guys on the trail. Yeah.